In reproducible GCMS, we often use the COVATS index instead of the retention time if we want to match experimental spectra against the spectral library. And you can download spectral library for GCMS from uh, Mass Bank of North America, or you can use um, the GMPS GCMS workflow where um, on the GMPS web server, um, we perform um, spectral matching. So we create a spectral network from the GCMS spectra. And then we also um, match all the spectra against the spectral library. And if you want to um, also submit um, COVAS indices into the GMPS workflow, uh, you can use MZMine to pick the retention times of your alkane mix. So here we ha just have two mixes. We have the COVAT mix, which is um, C6 to C9. And then we have uh, DRO mix, which is um, the alkanes from C10 to C25. And to open this dialog, we just go on Tools, COVAT Index Extraction. And here in this dialog, we can see we have the base peak plot on the top. We can choose the sample and we can also add a second sample. So we use um, two samples here to uh, then pick the different peaks and the retention times of the different standards. And to um, first um, define the, the, the peaks and the base peak plot, uh, we definitely need to adjust uh, these settings here. So we have the MZ range and retention time range. And for the MZ range, we can um, either type in some values, uh, use the formula, or we can use the quick um, solution here with these arrows. Uh, so these arrows just um, loop through the different alkanes, and then we have the option to uh, subtract one hydrogen, or we can use um, the alkane as it is. And so if we go and, for example, go to C7, we can see that we have C7 here, so heptane eludes very early, and then we have C8 and C9. And all these peaks correspond to uh, the higher alkanes that also fragment down to um, this particular formula, or, I mean, just have some signals in this range. And so first of all, um, it's very important to choose one of the um, base peak plots that's representative to, uh, to our sample. And here we can see that we have minor peaks uh, that don't belong to um, the, the standards. And if we even go lower, we can see um, there are some, some different compounds also in the mix, like benzene and so on and we don't want to um, capture capture these. And so it's better to go higher to something like um, C5, but here we can see um, these are already small, or C4, and I think this, one's, this one seems to be good. And then we can um, start to add um, different, different standards here. We can see um, the standards are just put anywhere in the beginning we could also like click on them and uh, drag them somewhere. But um, the, the way to work with this dialog is to just click on pick peaks, and then it's going to directly pick uh, the local maxima in this base peak plot. So we have the minimum intensity, we have um, the retention time window, which we can adjust. And then we have the ratio top to edge. So by zooming in, we can see uh, we have a nice peak shape. We have the top here, and then um, very nice, very nice peak shape. So the edges should be lower than uh, the factor of uh, three. Um, so if we set up the minimum intensity to zero, um, the, the noise level, so the minimum intensity will automatically be changed to um, the maximum intensity divided by 20. But then again, we still have enough uh, intensity on the smaller peaks here. And also um, the ratio of the top to edge is still enough. 
And so if we want to pick all these features, we can now um, type in 25. And here we can see uh, the list is going to change. So uh, by typing it in, uh, we get this range. We don't have to use all of them, but we can just add all of them and then also um, take some out if we, uh, we don't see the standards or if we don't want to use them. And then we just need to click on pick peaks. And with the standard settings and my data set, we can directly um, pick the peaks without changing anything. But um, of course, we could now uh, try to adjust the minimum intensity and also the ratio top to edge. So first, we could try something that's that's way too high. So if we uh, set it to this uh, noise level, we can directly see that um, these features, these peaks, they are above the minimum intensity, but then uh, the ratio top to edge is too high. So if we set this to uh, something lower, uh, we can at least pick this one. Um, and then for any reason, this one's not picked. Um, but if we um, set this one lower, we should be able to pick all the peaks again. So it's just a matter of uh, retention time window, then in the minimum intensity and ratio top to edge. And then after picking all these um, retention times, we can uh, save them to a file. And this file is actually um, provided to the GC MS workflow on GMPS. And if we load um, this li the list, um, we can also see the different retention times again. Or if we um, want to combine multiple, for example, if you have more than just um, two standards, you can also use this one to just copy together basically um, the separate files. And one thing, if you uh, zoom in, you might see that um, some of the um, peaks do not have like a perfect shape. And to correct this, we can just drag um, the values, the markers, just to the center. And this is going to be changed in the list. And it's also going to be changed when we save the file.